Deputy Steward here. I need all available unit members to the impact sites that meet here. Cold Amber, we need this control before the sun comes up. No, no, we don't need to get the doctor involved in this. Just because he's on our doorstep doesn't mean we've got to rely on him all the time. Can I help you? We do have a matter on our hands at the moment. And who are you anyway? <laughs> seen him in a while. He's just been so busy with the TARDIS. I find it difficult when I see him. It's like I'm reminded of the old him. Are you avoiding the Doctor? No. Maybe. Oh, I don't know. I just, I find myself doing a whole lot of nothing without him. Are you considered a hobby? Like what? I would recommend a course of audiobooks. Perhaps continue with your outdoor running. It will really clear the mind. It might help. I suppose I can give it a try. live at Chessel Park and being informed that government officials, Eunice and Torchwood have arrived on the scene and it seems we've been asked to move ourselves from the premises. Oh, hey, it's back! It is beyond those trees, you seen this? It's something secret. A meteor crash! In the park! It was none of this in my day. Meteors and aliens. Mum, you got resurrected from the 90s like a few weeks ago. So if anything, your day was like a fortnight ago. Does, does he know? Who? The doctor? Probably. I don't know. You're so different towards him now. A lot's changed. I know, and that's what worries me. You're my daughter, and I don't know what you're up to. Oh, I've told you as much as I can. I know you have. I, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I, I just worry about you. If, I, I've only just got you back. Um, the doctor will keep you safe. You know he will. You've got nothing to worry about. No. Maybe you should give him a ring. Maybe I'll. Ah, there you are. Right. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Let it go. I know, I'm just trying to fix you, I know. Well, how about a bit of gentle persuasion? <sighs> Finally got you. <sighs> oh, fine, fine. Yellow. Hey, it's Megan. Have you seen the news? 
There's a meteor crash at the local park. Meteor crash? Yeah. It's on all the news channels. It's saying Unit and Torchwood have just arrived. No wonder I missed it. My screens are offline. Fancy going for a snoop? If you're not too busy with the TARDIS, that is. I could do with this space, and uh, it'd be nice to see you again. Okay, I'll see you in a bit then. Wait, how are you going to get there? Oh, I'll take the TAR! <laughs> oh, it never gets old. It's 15 minutes on the bus. The bus? The bus? I'm a man of style. How oh, is this what my life has come to? Public transport. <laughs> I'll see you there. unfolding here live at Chessel Park and being informed that government officials, Eunice and Torchwood have arrived on the scene and it seems we've been asked to move ourselves from the premises. Whatever it is beyond those trees, it's something secret. Tommy Benton, can you hear me? I still have, do you have to be so loud? I'm not in the mood, man. I suppose it's a bit early for you, isn't it? Anyway, I'm at the crash site and the police have cordoned it off. Where are you anyway? Two minutes, I'm just round the corner. Showtime. Captain Fraser Ward, Special Ops, Torchwood. We better come in then. Thanks. Blimey, what have we got here then? Pickled egg. <laughs> Christ, I stink. No, I'm alright, thanks. Alright, uh, suit yourself. Well, it's Meteor, by the looks of it. Right. Christ, it's cold. Freezing cold. That's not right. Meteors usually burn. This should be hot. I noticed that. It's strange and the crater isn't big enough for the trajectory. I think there's more here than meets the eye. It's going to be hard to cover this one up. All right, fellas? Yeah, all good. Just about to run a scan, aren't we, Tommy? Pickle egg. No. You guys need to pack up and move on out. Excuse me? I've just had a call in. Um, tortured and unit officials have to be removed. I don't know who you're speaking to on the other side of that radio, but I'm just trying to do my job. And I'm doing mine, and I have orders to get you off the site. Fine. We'll go. But who gave you these orders? The Brigadier of the Unit. Don't you like it? I thought it maybe seemed quite detective-like. I don't know. Still trying to find my footing with this body. Uh, so, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Getting there. It's nice to see you again. Likewise. How's things going with your mum? Oh, it's great. It's really great, actually. 
Having around you like the simple mom stuff is like the best thing ever. I'm glad to hear it. Ooh, that's a point. How's your grand taken the fact that her daughter was uh, resurrected and, you know, not aged a day? There were a lot of screams and crying and now she's on a cruise somewhere. Well, I'm not entirely sure how the two correlate, but okay, shall we head to the crash site? Sure. Hello. You again? Oh my, what are the chances? Meteor crash and an alien attack, you popping up on both accounts. Should I be suspicious? Well, I helped the last time, didn't I? Have you two met before? Yes, Megan, this Shh, is- being sarcastic. Yeah. The doctor, wasn't it? It is. What's your name? PC Laura Miller. Finally. Nice to put a name to the face. So, what's happened? Meteor crash, so the experts are saying. Experts meaning Unit and Torchwood? That's the ones. Between you and me, I get they're just doing their job and they're saving the planet, which is good. But I've worked hard for my job, and most of the time I'm just chasing muggers or attending noise complaints. I didn't become a police officer to stand on guard. It's now about time to say that we work for Unit. Sorry, I just needed to rant that out. Not very professional, eh, Lauren? Did you guys want something? Access to the crash site, of course. I'm unit scientific advisor, so of course I've come to lend a hand. An expert's opinion in the field. No pun intended. Right, I can't let you through. I've been given strict orders not to let you guys through here. But we're unit officials, we have access. Look, contact the Brigadier, he'll validate us. For what I've been told, you guys aren't allowed anywhere near this. And on whose authority was this assigned on? The Brigadier. Right. Right! I'm looking for the Brigadier. Look no further. You've lost me. You must be the Doctor and his bright young accomplice. Sit. How do I have a stand? I'm afraid Nicholas Gordon Lethbridge Stewart resigned. What? He handed in his notice with immediate effect. But why? It just seems this job has gotten too much for him. And they hired you just like that. You're pretty quick to snatch the job. Doctor. If you're making the accusation that I've had him removed from office, or that I have tried to snatch his job, well, you're very much mistaken. Nick loved this job like his father before him. He wouldn't just turn his back on it just because it got tough. And at the very least, he would have consulted me. Well, I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but he's gone. And in the event of an emergency, all powers will be confined to me. Hence why I got the job so quickly. So why was our access to the meter site declined? The doctor is like the best of the best. You were declined from the investigation because you're both pending review. What? what? And as for you, Doctor, Unit protects Earth against aliens. For all we know, you could be feeding back our defences to the enemy. Really? We're actually going there? I've been with Unit since the 70s. I have fought Daleks, Cybermen, Autons, Axons, and the Master countless times with Unit. Yes, I've read your record. The Master, a member of your own species, one who has caused so much disruption. If we trust you, Doctor, then we're going to have to take every other species into consideration. Ah, so that's it. Purely because I'm an alien, that means we're all bad. Well, I'm not having this. I am going to find Nick, and then I'm going to stop whatever it is that you are up to. I'm not up to anything. I'm just an ordinary human being doing an ordinary job. I'm defending the planet from you. What do you think the world would say if I exposed you? One could even pinpoint every alien interference back to you. You are always at the centre of it. After everything he's done, everything we've done, and you're going to pull that card? Yes. Things are going to change around here. 
there will be order and there is nothing you can do about it. So get out of my building before I have you thrown out. This isn't over. Inside, now! The cheek, the sheer nerve of it! <sighs> After everything I've done for them. Look, Doctor, I get you're upset. What? What the hell have you done to the TARDIS? Oh, I'm fixing it. Well, whatever this is, this is the opposite of fixing it. Hey, I've taken apart the TARDIS plenty of times in the past. I know what I am doing. I hope so. Seriously, we need to find Nick. If you genuinely believe he's in danger, then we have to find him. I always trust my gut feeling with these things. And plus, I know Nick. And this isn't like him. Something must have happened to him. Okay. You haven't got to convince me because I know something has happened here. And I don't trust that woman. There's something not quite right. We have to make sure we bring Nick back safe, so... We can't lash out. We have to play our own game. Hmm. But the question is, how do we find Nick? Well, the TARDIS is in no fit state to help. We ask his wife? Hmm. No, use the TARDIS phone, just in case they're tracing the call. Hey, Linda. It's Megan Williams. Yeah, um, is Nick there with you? He's not. He didn't come home last night. No, no, no. Uh, everything's fine. Don't worry. Um, just, if he gets in, can you get him to give me or the doctor a call? If that's it? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Linda. Bye. Yep, he's not there and didn't come home last night either. Don't you think you should have told her that her husband has gone missing? No. The last thing we need is her worrying. She'll storm into unit and demand answers. And if that woman has done anything to Nick, then we can't let her do anything to Linda. Hello? Do you have to eat those? Those are grim. Oh, I'm hungry! Meg, what's going on? Where's the Brigadier? Tommy, I don't know. He's disappeared. I tried phoning them, but then a woman answered, and now Fraser's been locked out of Torchwood. Put it on loudspeaker. Fraser and I were investigating the media. We were there this morning. You yeah, skipped boring parts. Get to the interesting stuff, Tommy. Wait, Doctor, is that you? Yes, Tommy, it's me. Now tell me what you know and talk quickly. When we got to the crash site, we were escorted off before I could even make a scan. Escorted off by who? By unit! They're covering something up and they don't want us snooping around. It's her! That woman! Meteor crash, the brig goes missing and someone takes over his place and has control of... Oh no. What is it? He said oh no, didn't he? Oh, that's bad. No, I hate it when he says that. Oh, it's gonna be one of those days, isn't it? She has access to unit Tortured and the Black Archive. She said it herself, all powers go to her. Maybe it could be a coincidence. Maybe in actual fact she's just a bit of a bitch. Megan, language. <laughs> Who is this woman? Captain Fraser Ward, by the way. I work for Torchwood. Pleasure to meet you, Doctor. Ah, <sighs> we don't really know. In fact, we don't even know her name or anything. Right. We need to get a background check and make sure her story is legit. One of us needs to get into unit and see if we can uh, play our own game and get information. Who though? The Doctor and her don't get on. No point me going. I'm locked out of Torchwood. And Tommy here gets scared when he talks to girls. No, I don't. No, I don't. Tell her I don't. No, I don't. Guess I'll have to go. It looks like it. Sound like a plan? 
Yeah, sorry. It's just, uh, it's kind of my thing coming up with a plan. Oh, um, sorry. Stepping on his toes a bit there, Doctor. Uh, you got a plan? Or anything to add? Nah, everything you just said. Good plan. Right. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, let's go. See you later, Tommy. It was nice to hear you again. Uh, you know, from you again. You know what I meant. <laughs> All right, Benton, we've got work to do. Wait, Doctor, you heard me. Defected eyes boosted my other senses, courtesy of yourself. Uh, anyway, um, bye, Tommy. Um, we've, we've missed you too. Bye. That was excruciating to watch. What do you mean? I don't even like her. I don't no, like her. No, 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 no. You just missed hearing her voice. I never said that. <laughs> Tell me, you're killing me. Do you think Tommy likes, you know? What? Uh, no, nothing. It, it doesn't matter. Um, I'll be back anyway. Wait a second. Lenses. These lenses will relay the footage back to me. They are generally set to my eyesight, but they'll adjust. Blimey, your eyesight is terrible. Uh, you can hold that grudge to Tommy. Now, Megan, be careful. If you see yourself in any sign of danger, any sign at all, get yourself out. I've got to do this. Nick. You're getting this. Clear feet, kiddo. I thought I'd made it quite clear that you were to keep your distance from this building. Look, look, I know. Just, I'm not here to cause any trouble, just, just hear me out. I just wanted to apologise for the way the doctor reacted. And? And? And I'm sorry too. Look, we, we love this job. Maybe a bit too much. Our reaction wasn't professional. But we understand your reasonings. Okay. You see, it's just been a difficult few months for the both of us. The Doctor's regeneration, the war, and my, my mum. So, sorry, you, you probably don't want to listen to me going on and on and on and on. That's tragic. Yeah. So you can see why we're a little over our heads. Honestly, we're not always like this. But you don't have any family issues? I haven't seen my children for 14 years. Oh. Wow. How come? This job doesn't offer much in the way of a personal life. Not this line of work. Too much information could be dangerous. So your, your family, you, you don't see them? Something like that. I had a large family. Long time ago now. Most of them are gone. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I never did catch your name. <laughs> That's because I didn't give it to you. Is it a bad thing to want to know my superior's name? <laughs> no, of course not. It's Angela Fletcher. <laughs> Megan Williams. Look, I, I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot. I'm sure we can change that. Well, um, I'll be off then. Thanks for the chat. Pleasure.
14 stinking years. I'm going to finish this planet if it's the last thing I do. Well, her story checks out. Angela Fletcher, former MP, wealthy family, etc, etc, etc. Worked in the Ministry of Defence and worked her way up. Anything about her having a large family? No, there's nothing on that. That's the only thing that doesn't check out. There's a picture of her, Tommy will send it. Yeah. yeah, that's her. Well, it checks out. Yeah, it says she's got a son and a husband. They haven't seen her in 14 years? Megan, was if you're right? Maybe she is just a mean lady. No. She's planning something, you know it. You said yourself you have a gut feeling and that it doesn't make sense. I mean, why say my children if she only has a son? And I still have it. But we can't go after her purely on the basis of gut feeling. She might actually be right. Look guys, the main priority here is Nick. The more time we spend wasting, the more chance he could... Well, the more chance he could be dead. Nobody can. If you want to live longer, then I suggest you save your energy. <clears throat> the doctor will stop you. I know he will. I don't think so. The doctor's out, and unit and torture are all mine. You underestimate them. Hardly. I've predicted every move they've made so far. And if any of your silly humans want to get in the way, I will blow this rock to dust. You don't have that firepower. No, personally I don't, but I have unit Torchwood and the Black Archive. Enough to send nuclear missiles into the sky and have them rain down on all the Earth and split this planet into two. And how long are you keeping me locked up here? For as long as I need. <laughs> God, you humans are so thick. You really are thick. And your body postures are all wrong. I need to breathe. Can you show us the place? Yeah, I'm positive. Well, then they come out. We don't have a lot of time. I think we're being watched. Are you certain? Don't draw attention, Megan. So I assume they're all under orders from Angela. I'd imagine so. Well, what do we do? We need a plan. We should give her a taste for her own medicine. <laughs> Not a bad idea. She's bound to slip with this charade sooner or later. Here's what we're going to do. Over the course of a week, we'll take in turns and follow her. She's just left you now. We'll see exactly what she gets up to. The moment she leaves the unit, she'll let her guard down. This is a vital step. She's taking the same route as last time. Same route as yesterday, same shops. She might be watching. So I'm gonna go stealth mode. When she's alone, she might reveal hints to who she really is. Hang on, she's here. And she's gone back into her apartment. Just like the other two days. I'm gonna try and get back into Torchwood. Plan? Plan. We'll keep in contact. Hi. Hey. Come on, Megan. Tommy, let's go.
You're working today. Hmm. Always. Hello? Whoa, whoa, calm down. He's, what? He's just been, no, 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 Linda, Linda, you don't want to do that, Linda. Okay, mom, sorry, Alex, come up. Megan, you haven't eaten. But we're meant to be going out later. And we will. Bye. Love you. Love you too. We've got a problem. Linda goes in there, she's going to call the scene. Well, then we've got to do something fast. Tommy, you have some technical expertise. Can you hack into Eunice's mainframe? Easy. Well, that should create a distraction more than enough to keep them occupied. Send them on a wild goose chase. Megan and I will take care of Andrew. Megan, I'll meet you around the back. I've just got to get the Sonic from the TARDIS. Want to be remote, don't we? You head in. I'll be in after. Oh. There's been some kind of mistake. I won't be here. Torchwood? No, out of us. Hey, wait up. where the first aid department is. That would be floor 12. Hey! Oh. Floor 12. Thanks. We'll drop you in. What the hell did you do? Venusian Aikido. Don't worry about him. We'll drop him off at the first aid. Come on. You full on whacked him. How did you learn that? Long story. I'll teach you sometime. Now, let's take a look around before she gets back. No sign of alien tech anywhere. Everything seems pretty normal. I'll ride in the scanning field. We shouldn't stick around here too long. If she catches us here, then she I've got something! It seems there's a whole other dimension folded inside this one. A dimension shifter. Oh, and I'm picking up a life sign on the other side. Who's there? Who's there? Brigadier, is that you? He won't be able to hear us. Different dimensions work at different frequencies. How do you know that? From when I used to work with Professor here in Vancouver. When we tried to contact spirits on the other side, we had to alter the frequencies and I just stopped talking. Adjusting the frequency. Gotcha! Brigadier! Doctor! There you are! Where the hell have you been? We've been worried sick! Oh, I, I just fancy getting you tied to a chair for the week. What do you think? Nick, we're coming for you. I can't pull you through just yet because my sonic is only strong enough to emit my voice over the dimensions. 
Well, I should warn you that that woman... Yeah, we know. She's up to something. No, you don't. She's not a woman. She's a thing. A great big green thing. Ah, oh, I'm losing power. Doctor, it's Tommy. He's on the run and Fraser's been arrested. Mick, just hang tight. I will fix this. I promise. What are we going to do? Go to the TARDIS. Underneath the console, you should find some silver canisters, Nitro-9. Plant them around the meteor and use the sonic to detonate. Blow it up? Why? Whatever that thing is, it is no meteor. Angela must have some sort of protection towards it. If we destroy it, she has nothing. But what if Angela comes back? Or Unit arrests you? Oh, I'd like to see them try. Be careful. And you. Hello, is this reception? This is the doctor speaking. I'm in the office. Right on cue. Building. No one gets in, no one gets out. Keep the doctor there. As well, I've already let your nerd friend through. I need access to the crash site. And before you argue, this might help us save the world. You guys are seriously going to cost me my job. Look, you said you didn't become a police officer just to deal with noise, complaints, standing on guard and muggers. This is your chance. You'll be helping us save the world. Like I said to your nerd friend, if I turn my back and you snuck in, I clearly didn't see you. But this is the last time. Tommy? was right. I wonder Angela had some sort of protection over it. That's no meteor. That's a ship.
I would offer you one, but you'd probably shoot me. Ah, the cavalry's arrived. Miss Grip, you're in my seat. No, no, no. I'm in the brigadier's seat. I am the brigadier. Oh, no, you're not. You see, I have discovered your dirty little secret, and I know where Nicky is. You killed him! Finally, I have your attention. Do you seriously want to push it? Oh, I do. You just murdered an innocent man to make a point! You shouldn't have gotten involved. I will always be involved if there's evil at large. And whatever it is you're planning, it isn't gonna work. Trust me, it never does. Maybe I'm the game changer. You can't just stand there and pretend to play Brigadier when you've just killed a unit soldier. Oh, I can. Because at the end of the day, Doctor, you shot him. I saw it myself. <laughs> and you really think they're going to believe that? Poor Daniel over there was shot by an alien weapon. And who was the only alien in this room? Oh, yes. You. You wouldn't. I would. Oh, the look on your face. You expected the higher ground, didn't you? Gods! Quickly! The Doctor has a weapon! Oh! Megan? Tommy, what are you doing here? I came to find you. I figured you'd be here. Angela's turned everybody against us. Not for much longer. Wait, what are you doing? Doctor's orders. Blow this thing up. Wait, no! Tommy, give me back the Sonic. Megan, it's not safe. You're way too close. You need to take cover. Hold it there! Drop the device. I said drop it! Megan! Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's just unconscious. You see, I told you, you were way too close. Thanks, Tommy. Yeah, we should go. Now for news and weather news. There's been a vast explosion in Chessman Park this afternoon around 2 o'clock. Police have evacuated the surrounding streets and have asked that any eyewitnesses come forward. Hi, Miss Williams. I think we need to chat about your daughter. Has something happened? Is she okay? Oh, yeah, she's perfectly fine. Well, we don't come in then. I'm sorry. I'll be back later, okay? There's someone here for you. She said she's a work friend. A work friend? Who? She said her name is... Angela. What? Hello again, Miss Williams. You. Look, whatever you're planning, you leave my mum out of it. If you touch her, if you hurt her, I swear I'll... You'll do nothing of the sort. I saw what you did to my pod. Very clever. Angela, whoever you are, this has nothing to do with her. That pod was the only chance I had to get back to my family. I'll make you, your friends, and the rest of this world suffer for what you have done. Do you take sugar? Oh, don't fill me, thanks. I'm sweet enough. 
and I'll start with her first. Angela, if you do anything... Angela? Angela! Megan? What is it? Angela, she's at my house. She's got my mum, Tommy. She's gonna kill her and everyone else because we messed with her plan. No, she's not gonna lay a finger on her, okay? We're gonna stop her, I swear. Need a word now. What's going on? Sorry. Megan, what's this all about? Mum, I need you to get away from here. What? What are you talking about? That woman is an alien. She's dangerous. And she's going to kill everybody on this planet. Will you two stop? Everyone's an alien to you. Lovely. Mom, she's far from it. She's evil. She's not an alien. Mom, she's she's a lovely woman. Go, go and take a look for yourself. <gasps> What the hell is that thing? There's an alien in my living room. Mum, you need to stay calm, okay? You're not Angela Fletcher. Who are you? I am John Fell Fox Passamere J. Sledeen. Megan, be careful. Yes, Megan. Listen to your mother. The doctor isn't here to save you all now. Nothing can save you. Yeah? But we're the doctor's friend and we're the next best thing. I hope you are. Once I'm finished with you, I will take him! Run! We're trapped! Mum! Mum, open the door! You never know. Anyone could break in. Yeah, an alien into the living room. What could be any worse? Oh, I can smell the fear dripping from you all. How I am mishunting. You're trapped here. Your plan has failed. It's over. Seriously, what is the point of killing us? The hunt will taste sweet. I will make a new plan with your skin. Do run. I prefer it when they run. Let her go. One more threat and I'll break her. Don't you dare touch my daughter. All I wanted was to return home, to see my children again. Was it too much to ask? And what about the child of Angela Fletcher, eh? Angela Fletcher has been dead for 14 years, boy. She means nothing! Once I've killed you all, I shall slaughter this world. You will all perish and I will have my vengeance. Look, from one mother and to another, just, just let her go. You don't have to do this. Please, just let her go. You could have let me go. Let me return to my children. But instead, you just had to interfere. You had control of Yuna and Tortu. You had access to all of their weapons. You would have taken vengeance on Earth for definite. I took control to ensure no one would interfere with my return pod. But you just couldn't help yourselves. And already, you bring a weapon ready to destroy the last Lily. You think I can't smell the vinegar? What? You mean my pickled eggs? You're scared of pickled eggs? Not quite. It's the acetic acid in the vinegar that they're afraid of. You took your time. I've just had to climb down a very tall building and run. But still, 
Seems like I got here in the nick of time. You're right. But better days. <laughs> Alright, how is vinegar a weapon? Well, the waxicoric cephalopatorians are calcium based. Any contact with acetic acids, well, let's just say they would be explosive. Well, you've come to the wrong place, miss, because this is the home of ketchup, vinegar, and pickled eggs. Except, we're not going to use them. She kidnapped the brig, she put us through a whole week of hell I've never noticed, trying to kill Meg. She also killed a unit member. But that doesn't mean she deserves a death sentence. Not from us. If you want to go home, then I'll be fair. Let me take you home. There's nothing about what you do that is fair. This doesn't need to end in death. Please, just take my offer and forget about your family pride for now. I will never betray my family. And I'll never betray mine. You come to this earth, you seek destruction, and you'll be met with that. Me, for I'm the doctor, the protector of earth. And, and I am Yon Bell Foch Passamir de Slavine, the redeemer of the Slavine family. Yon, you haven't got to do Listen. this. Please, just let her go. Megan, are you all right? No! What have you done? Doctor, please help me! I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> Didn't he say? Smell, ooh. <coughs> ooh, that's gonna be hard to get out. Um, well, you see, I did try to warn you. Come here, Doctor. Give me a hug. Nah, nah, you're all right. You see, I really quite like this new outfit of mine. Green isn't really my colour, so that's quite all right. Thank you, though. Very sweet of you. No, 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 no. Give me a hug. Come. Yeah, Doctor, come here. Yeah? Uh, um, no. Bye. Mum? The ring must have controlled the dimensional shifter, so we'll be able to get the brig back. If Jan wanted to go back to her home, then why didn't she just accept? Too much family pride, I suspect. I guess we understand that a little bit more today. I hope you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Bit of a sore neck, but I'll live. Mum feels really guilty about it, though. She panicked. You don't have to make me understand. I get why she did it. She was acting in on love and instinct. I would have done the same for you. I just wish it could have ended differently. Hello, Ness. How are you? Well, I killed somebody today, so not too well. <sighs> Look, I get why you did it. No, you don't. I was taken from her for 22 years. I wasn't going to let that thing kill her. You wouldn't understand parenthood. Actually, I do. I have had many children of my own, and it was so very hard outliving some of them. We do what we can to protect our own. I just wish it wasn't you who had to deal with the actions. 
The past few weeks have been tough. You don't ever show it though. That's because I can't. I have a daughter. She needs me. I have to stay strong every day for her. I've seen a glimpse of your world, Doctor. All I want from you is a promise. A promise that you'll keep her safe and always bring her home to me. I promise you. I will always keep her safe. Her and Tommy. So, what are you guys chatting about? Uh, weather. Politics? I'm going to head off to Unit and get Nick back. Do you want me to come with? Nah. You stay here. Let's see how Tommy's getting on. Look, nope. not bad. I think we've got him well trained, Megan. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> He's a keeper, that one. I'm not saying anything. It's a funny place, this world. Filled with quite remarkable people. When I first came to this planet, one thing I never anticipated was discovering all these friends. I have been so lucky to have been gifted their presence throughout all my lives. These wonderful people have given me so much love in so many ways. I will always be there for them. Forever and always. They are, in the end, my family. Thing is true. You're in a time loop. Earth is stuck in a one day time loop with you in the center of it. You've got to solve this and save the Earth. 